welcome back to TW2016, the branding solution. And we are here on Shockwave for what is our first show after Money in the Bank. And only two weeks until their next pay per view. So we're going to have a few new storylines start. Most of them just got carried over. Most of the new storylines are lower down the cards, shall we say. Um, we have a few pre-show matches, but not many. We have Express Delivery picking up a tag team win. We then have Jack Evans defeat Ultimo Dragon. Give the Hill Cruiserweight a win. And we have the Ford Villains pick up a win. Much needed, I believe. And Leo Rush got another victory just to build him up for the Cruiserweight in a few months' time. And then Killian Dane beat my young Mexican, which is very impressive as he's got above 50. We have Atami a victory over Solomon Crow, who is just coming back from injury. And then we start the show. We start the show with Rusev in the middle of the ring, saying he beat the puny Austin Aries. And in two weeks, he has no opponent. And he wants someone to challenge him. Which brings out Sami Zayn, holding his briefcase, saying, well, I could go right now, if that's what you need, Rusev. And then we have Punk, Joe, Cole. Adam Cole, Styles, Cody Rhodes and Tyler Breeze all staking their claims to this title. And this is leading up to a main event that is going to be a battle royal between 20 men to see who will face Rusev at the next pay-per-view, which is called The Great American Bash. We have our final first round match where we have Tommy End defeat Sinkara in the King of the Ring. And then afterwards William Regal comes out and he says Tommy and Michael need a challenge and we think we should be able to challenge the Briscoe brothers in two weeks at the Great American Bash for those tag team titles. While this does feel like rushed booking, it does it's a good tag team match to have by the sounds of it. We could go in a few different directions and we give the Briscoe brothers a good opponent. And to have a singles match to build up to this, we have Mark Briscoe defeat Michael Dante. Um, I could have sworn... Okay, never mind. So the Briscoes did pick up the win. Adrian Neville comes out and says that he is going to rule the Cruiserweight division. He will be the king of the cruiserweights, a bit like in real life. And Austin Aries comes out and says, Adrian or Neville, whatever you want to be called, son, you've barely been on this brand, barely picked up a win, and you think you deserve to be called the king of something? What were you doing on Sunday night? Where was your match? I had a world title match, and I won't be afraid to put you back in your place in the middle of the cruiserweight division. So we're going to have Neville versus Aries. Probably going into shock into Great American Bash. I don't know how much longer afterwards. And to prove Neville is still doing well, he beat Koto. Even though he didn't click, we got a solid enough match. Next up, Nakamura says he needs a challenge. He's been that US champion for a few months. He's beaten Okada. He wants a new challenge, which brings out Bobby Okada and Zack Sabre Jr. all sort of saying that they want a chance, which leads to a triple threat match. Next, where we have Bobby Roode picking up the win. Not good news, but kind of good. Um, Bobby Roode is going to face Shinsuke Nakamura at Great American Bash. But the idea was going to be Okada versus Zack Sabre Jr. 
but that looks like it's not going to happen now. Um, we then continue Kenny Omega and Will Ospreay going back and forth. So we sort of had the match, but Will Ospreay reckons he needs one more match, one more chance, and he can beat Kenny Omega next time. So it leads to a little tag team match where Will Ospreay has to find himself a tag team partner or partners in the special edition to face the club. Um, as I've got the Bullet Club together, but I very rarely use them. Um, they're sort of a faction that support each other rather than get involved all the time. But Will Ospreay in special edition picked up the win when Ospreay pinned Luke Gallows. And I feel this is moving both all three cruiserweights to the next level. A potential great little tag team there as well. Phoenix cuts the pro bar on himself saying he is the best Mexican wrestler on the brand. And then he picks up a win over Jack Gallagher. Um, simple enough. Just wants to make Phoenix look good. His storyline will start next week. I have an opponent for him. John Cena comes out and he sort of says that, well, I might not be able to go into this battle royal to become the new number one contender, but I'm going to make sure Damien doesn't win it. And Damien says, you've ruined my career once already. You can't keep doing this to me, John. I will be taking over and becoming the champion of the brand. And he created a new catchphrase to Damien Sandow, which is good to see. We jump into the next match where we give Oblivion Max the win over Sheamus. Thanks to Drew McIntyre accidentally hitting Sheamus. This is a very good match. Really. Um, we went with this for a reason. Shane McMahon comes out and he goes, Drew, you all defend that title against Oblivion Max at Battleground. And Sheamus... You'll be dealing with Mr. Barrett. So yeah, there's two matches set up. I've made the card pretty stacked, I'm not going to lie. Um, well, we wanted to calm the crowd a little bit before the Battle Royal, so we gave the Money in the Bank tag jumps, the Revival, a victory over the Unexpected, who have come on and they're at nearly the same level, which is great to see. Rusev then cuts himself a promo, saying it doesn't matter who wins, he will destroy them. And then we have our 20-man battle royal. Bit of a risk to make it the main event, but I have a lot of star power in it. And we know these always take a little bit longer to load. We got an 81. That's, I'm happy enough with that. Sami Zayn won. Yeah, I went with Sami Zayn to win this, which sounds a bit surprising. Um, but still, I think it works. Um, Samoa Joe got the most eliminations. Sandow Styles Aries got to the end. Um, we had John Cena running and attack Sandow. I was going to have Adam Cole return to eliminate AJ. But you can't set just that up. But we've got some big, big names in here. It's a solid rating for this, shall we say. And we end with Sami Zayn and Russo having a stare down in the middle of the ring as Russo holds the title up. And Sami holds his briefcase and says, I got two chances, son. Watch your back. And we're going to end the show. And hopefully we've got like a mid-80s. Shall we hope? Or do we get? we got an 84. I'm happy enough with that. We put a lot of talent into that Battle Royal, so we couldn't have too much else on the card. I could have put a John Cena match on, but I decided to keep him away from a match this week. So we're going to head back to that main screen and see what's happening. And we are now back to the main screen, so let's look at Okada's injury. Um, just double check, anything interesting there? New faces coming to AJPW who take all the talent. Uh, negotiation wise, we just have pay rises to deal with. I've been pushing him, so fair enough. 
and Zayn Light Prize has been getting pushed as she is now one of the more popular women and she's come a long way so yeah okay nothing over the top to worry about um, we're probably not going to renew Vimo okay nothing to worry about there so let's look at this injury is it as devastating as it sounds because I hope it's not because I had Plenty of plans for him. He's out for 21 days. Da, so he is not going to be able to face anybody at the next pay-per-view, which is a shame. But that could lead to a SummerSlam match. Um, as we just quickly look at the storylines, you will see how many more we actually have for Shockwave. Um, yeah, we have a lot. Probably the most it's tied with Raw, maybe. So we are going to do Bobby Roode, Nakamura. There's random tag team matches. They're not that much. This one can carry on going through angles. So I'm going to happily go with Ricardo Sabre Jr. We're going to go Rusev, Sami Zayn. The tag titles, I'm happy with that. We know the ruin in my future. Respect is the same. New direction is the same. The King of the Cruiserweights, Mexicans find this hasn't started, so we won't show it. And we then have the remaining Cruiserweights, and the main challengers, well, Osprey. The club, club's number, so we're going to have Special Edition versus the club for a bit. You know about the beautiful disaster, and the Battle of Britain, so they're fine. And then we can just quick we have a look at this, see if there is many changes. Um, who is hot? And Nicky Cross made it back on there, as did Bobby Roode from Shockwave. And the knots has not changed. So that is going to finish this episode, and we'll be back with Raw next time. So the simple thing to do is to say thank you for watching.